So we're over at Dalhousie Golf Club here in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and Ed's gonna play a couple holes with me and talk through the strategy of how we're supposed to approach some of these holes. And this course is pretty tough looking. I, I haven't played it yet, but some of these holes are pretty intimidating. So we're gonna talk about some strategy on how you approach some of these difficult holes and maybe what to avoid and what to be thinking about as you're playing. Yep, let's go. This is the 17th hole at Dalhousie. It's really cool. It's 490 yards from the back tee. And um, a lot of times, especially if you get don't have a chance to play a practice round at a course, if you're going to play in a tournament or a member member or something like that, if you can get in a cart and drive the course and scout it out, I like to go backwards because it's really, you can see the landing areas, you can see the green and you can see the tee box in the distance down there, way back down in those trees. But from here, if you were hitting a tee shot back that way, Patrick, uh, he's on the camera so he can just talk here, but if you were hitting this direction back, does that look like an intimidating fairway at all to hit? No, not too bad. No, it's pretty wide, right? Yeah. Well, that's how wide it is the other direction, but it's not going to look like that. Right. And golf course architects do a really good job of intimidating you with visually what it looks like off the tee. And a lot of times if you look at it backwards and see where you would want to be, um, 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 it'll help you when you get to the tee and you'll realize how much more room you have. Yeah. So we'll go back to the tee and take a look at it. <laughs> All right, we're here on 17 at Dalhousie. It's the hole we showed you from the green back to the tee. And would you agree with me, this looks a lot tighter and narrower than the perspective was from up by the green looking backwards. This looks terrifying from this perspective. <laughs> it does. Absolutely. But remember how much room there was if you hit it solid. There's lots of room, a lot more room right than what it looks like off this tee. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. And we're still, this is one of the most difficult holes in Missouri. It doesn't have yeah. a bunker on it, which I think is a pretty neat design. Yeah. And, um, but uh, great, great golf hole and uh, and very difficult. Five's a good score here, even for a good player. Um, I it's would- it's a par four. Right? But it's a par four. Yeah. But I, I would, uh, architects like to have holes that are half pars. I would call this a par four and a half. If you had a two day tournament here, even as a scratch player and you made a nine for two days on this you'd hole, be pretty happy. you'd be pretty happy. One yep. par, one bogey, average four and a half. Um, pretty good way to look at it. If you're a five or 10 or 15 handicapper, you're getting a stroke here. Five with a yeah. stroke will win you lots of bets. <laughs> All right. Okay. So um, that's the other way I would look at holes like this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead and lead us off. Sounds good. All good. right. Good. I like, I like holes that have walkways cut from the mm -hmm. tee boxes out to the fairway. And so yeah, Patrick's done this without me saying anything, but I like to use those to aim. If, if that walkway is your target landing area straight out there, well, then you ought to tee your ball up right in the middle of that walkway and sure. it'll help you aim. So can you see that's what you've done? So, I, yeah, absolutely. So, so our perfect landing spot here on this hole is down the right center of the fairway. Mm -hmm. And so we just want to hit a good and solid right down that walkway. And so. my typical shot shape is kind of a little bit of a fade. So right. for me personally, I'm planning to aim maybe towards the right edge of that trouble and then just kind of hope it fades kind of more to the right side. Does that seem like a good, good line? Good, it does. Okay. Not too bad, faded a yep. little, but it should kick down. Yeah, that's pretty much what I had in mind. Maybe a little more fade than I wanted, but you know, it's still, that's pretty safe. I'm not in that, all that debris over on the left. No, you're not. And a pretty good solid shot there.
That looks great. That was pretty good, huh? Yeah, that's awesome. He's still got it. <laughs> First swing of the day. <laughs> so this is all you got. Let's see. So from a range finder here. Probably 200 to the flag. Yeah, about 220, I think, from 220. here. 220, yep. yep. So again, this is one of the hardest holes on the course. Patrick said a pretty nice drive. It's in the right side of the fairway. Mm-hmm. Got the ball above his feet a little. A little bit, yep. So whenever it's above your feet, you need to take a couple practice swings on the same slope to see how far away from the ball to be. Yep. Typically, he'd have to be a little bit farther from the ball. As the ball's above your feet, you gotta be farther away. That's where he'll bottom out. So he'll take some practice swings to bottom out correctly. That's where he'll play the ball. It'll tend to draw off of this lie uh, a lot if you tend to hit a natural draw anyway but for a fader it might just be pretty straight. straight yep but there's a metal box up there to the right of that flag mm -hmm. and that's where i think patrick ought to aim, aim. that's kind okay. of what i had in mind so yeah. good so pick out your intermediate target from behind the ball to that thing and yep. let's go ahead and hit a good shot the other thing i'll say here patrick if he was playing a match would be getting a stroke here yeah so a five's a good score so he just needs to get to the in the hole and four shots from here and He's played a good hole. Good, and again, Patrick tends to hit a fade, so off that uphill lie, he hit it dead straight. And Perfect. He's just short of the green, maybe 20 or 30 yards, but it's a very good I'd shot. I'd be really happy with yep, that. Good yep. shot. All right, I've hit a really good drive up the left side. I wasn't scared of carrying that brush that off the tee because I knew I could hit it far enough to get over. So I'm right here in the left-hand side of the fairway. I've got about 185 to the flag. Uh, for me, that these days, that's my five wood. So, and again, I still look at this hole, even from a perfect drive, um, it, for me, it's a par four and a half. So if I make four, great. If I make five, I'm not mad. And um, we'll see how it goes here. Beautiful little draw there. Yeah, it's going to be just short, though, I think. But not too bad. It was a good swing. That was great. Okay, so we're 47 yards here, and I like to try to play to a distance like Ed's taught me. Yes, that's correct. What would you say it was? 47. 47. So, Up the hill a little. Yep, so for me, usually that means I'm, I'm probably playing either a pretty full... Uh, pitch shot with the 56 not like a full swing but like my kind of pitch shot technique or maybe I would go with the 50 degree if I once it gets to about 60 yards I I have trouble with the same kind of technique to get it there with the 56. Great I like the 56 with that pitch shot I think okay. it's perfect okay because that's 47 to the flag you probably only have to hit it 40. Yep absolutely okay and okay so strategy wise here the the right looks like it really trails off to like a dune or something well it does but for this yardage we're taking not dead aim at the flag we we're, not, flag. Even, okay. we're right. not even worried about that well, that's good that's there. good to think about so we're, we're really focusing on what we want not worried too much about the trouble right? no there's okay. no trouble here we're all aiming right. right at from this yardage we're aiming right at the flag all right all right Great shot. That's pretty good. I know. Good. I'm just short of the green. Probably got 15 yards to the flag. Uh, pretty decent lie. I've got my 60 degree club. I'm going to set up to where I hit my 50-50 shot. I'd like to land it over this first part of the where the slope is, but just land it halfway to the hole and let it roll out. So nothing fancy. I'm on an upslope. I'm going to take my practice swings. See where I bottom out. I should bottom out pretty much the same place every time. Fly it halfway. Let it roll out the rest of the way. Oh, that's beautiful. Yep, thanks. 
All right, so Patrick's hit three good shots. We got a nine footer for par, pretty much straight up the hill. Yep. Uh, we're here on a Monday. Everything's closed. We're the only ones out here. So the greens haven't been mowed or nothing today. And yep. so there's leaves and a little slower than usual, probably yep. too. And they've been aerated probably a week or two ago. So, so these greens are normally perfect. So, but they're still not too bad. So what do you? I like that line. It looks to me like, like it goes right just a little bit. So you think the whole green's going slightly, sure. slightly Can't you tell right? that? And is this right. lower down here? Is there a drain over here to our right? There is a drain over there. So this part of the green drains to that drain. Mm -hmm. So that means that's where it slopes. Okay. But it's not a lot here. Maybe a cup left or right at the most. It, it's slowing up the hill. So I'd only play an inch or two left of the hole. This is what's happens. interesting about golf to me. Is so if you just looked here, I would say this part feels like it slopes down a little, mm -hmm. right? But then the bigger part of the green's all sloping to the right. Right. And so you have to figure out on your line yeah, sure. which part you have to worry about, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why the aim point guys would come up here and they'd straddle right here. Yep. They'd, they'd say, and I can tell that foot's lower than my left foot, so it'll go a little bit to the right. Yeah, I, I can feel it's. I can feel it just very slightly. It's very slight, yep. but you can feel it. That's yep. exactly right. Okay. So roll it in there. A little soft. Yep, that's a good. Oh, I missed it too. Just rimmed out. I think mine went left. Yeah. Of course, a little, I just didn't hit it solid. Well, we tied. I'll take that. Number 16 at Dalhousie Golf Club. Beautiful golf hole. Um, par four. Another pretty long one, probably 430 from where we're at here. Patrick tends to hit a fade, right? Yep. So his target here is going to be those bunkers on the left, maybe the right edge of the far bunker. That's what I'm seeing too. And there's a big tree just past it there. Yep. And he's going to tee off over here to the right. Or the by, right side. On the right side, as close to that tee marker as he can and not worry about hitting it. And uh, that gives him a better angle to play his fade. And um, he's going to pick a leaf out there in front of him to... Amy's club face, and he's just going to make a good swing and hit it solid. And he said it right at the bunker, but I think it's going to be short of it. I just think that's a little short of it, shot. I think. Yeah. Yep. Great shot. That was really solid. Yeah. That one didn't fade at all. It didn't. <laughs> that's how come we always aim to where if it goes straight, we're still okay. Yep. So. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kinda of just aim at the right edge of that bunker. I probably can't get it there either if I hit it solid. So it's a good target for me and gives me lots of room right. There you go. Beautiful. I think it's pretty good. I couldn't tell if just short of it I or not. I think we're gonna be playing the same line pretty much. So we got about 170, 173, we said something yeah. like that. Yep, it's, that's it's right. A front pin. Yep. So it's on the left up here. Ed out drove me by five yards. So. I did. <laughs> uh, this is probably your seven wood again. Seven wood for me. So I'm, I mean, I, I'm planning to basically go right at it. What do you well, think good. about that? Yeah, you, the ball above your feet or below it. Ball's slightly below. All right. So what's that mean? Well, so. It's going to tend a little bit to the right, typically, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have to be just slightly steeper than usual to make good contact, maybe. Maybe. This so, isn't too extreme, though. I think I can make. It's not, but pretty I, normal. I would swing. aim left of this flag. Just a little left. Okay. I, I, I would aim at the left edge of the green. What so. do you think about this line, the bunker line here, right? There's That's like fun. Kind of just the I right, like that. Right, right side of the bunker. Just ten yards left, because yep. even if you hit it straight there, that's a pretty good chip. Okay. Like but if that. you aim at the flag and miss it to the right any at all, you're going to be in that bunker, okay? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, 
The line's good. Yeah, it is. Topped it just a tiny bit. You did. It should roll up there pretty close. Yeah, that's, I didn't that's see a it pretty, That's a pretty good miss. Yep, I agree. Same for me. I've got my little seven wood too. It's perfect okay. little seven wood for me. One seventy five. That's about what you shot. Mm -hmm. And I told you to go a little left, and so I did. But yeah, you're good. I hit it good. Right I should the... be pinned high yep. left there. Just yep. left chipping. Not bad. Hit That'd it be nice. Solid. All right, Ed. So talk me through this. I got two things I'm thinking about. Anytime I'm, I got pretty lucky with that, that roll, it rolled right up to the fringe basically. Yeah, it really turned out great. So, so you got a clump behind in front of your yeah, ball. Yeah, so though. this is a, there's a conundrum here. So I like to putt it if I can, but I'd agree. this is looking a little bit dicey. So I'm thinking maybe I'd chip this instead. Yeah, I, I would probably chip it if it was me. Okay. Um, um, but your worst, uh, Worst putts. putts always better than your worst chip. Yep, so absolutely. even even with that clump there, it may not be as bad as you think. Yeah. So, um, but yes, I agree, and especially to get up this close, that's just some poana that's grown here in the spring yeah, faster than everything that the zoysia. Absolutely. So it's, it's a little clumpy there, but I'm. But but this uh, looks I, to me, this looks so thick that I I think I have to chip it not, pretty much because I think it's just going to bump right into this. And I not, agree. Not I would probably it. blade it with my wedge. That's belly a, it with that my That would wedge, be one, but, one way to to go. So, but that's not a bad way. Do your best to ignore that though, and just yeah. hit a good oh, solid yeah. chip. And you're just going to land it a third of the way, and it's going to roll out, okay? Yep. Perfect. Nice shot. That's about the best I can do there. That's awesome. That was great. You're nice four. Yep. And that's the number four handicap hole. Really? So if you were getting two strokes from somebody each nine, you'd have got a stroke there. Yeah. And that would be a four for three. That's great. All right. So I don't have a very easy shot here, but um, I do my best and try to hit it good and solid. But a lot of people get mad about, I was 175 yards and I'm perfectly pin high. Mm -hmm. And I'm what, 30 feet from the hole? Yeah. So that's not a bad shot. There's not much green there. And so I can't get too mad for hitting a 175 yard shot 30 feet left, even though it's left me with a pretty tough chip. Yep. And so I've got a great lie though. And so, um, I'm going to try to hit this one high and soft and land it around the fringe and just let the green do the rest. So that looks pretty good. That's about as good as I could do it, Patrick. Yeah, it's that's still great. about six I mean, or eight feet by. You didn't have much room to land that, so no, that's pretty solid. I didn't. So. Conceded Patrick's putt. It was a great chip. Good four. Thank you. So what do you see here alignment wise? Well, I think it's pretty straight as slow as it is. So I'm just going to aim inside the right edge and try to roll it up there. If I had to hit it, I'd have made that was the perfect line. Yeah, it was just a little slow. They're a little yep. slow, but yep. being aerated. We're here at number 11, Dalhousie Golf Club in Cape Girardeau. Uh, one of the cool things they do is um, everybody that's ever made a hole in one on any of the par threes, they got these old boards here where they etch your name in. And looky here, down here at the bottom, I was lucky enough to have my 10th career hole in one. Here I hit a six iron in the hole from 170, and uh, it had been about 15 years since I had a hole in one, so that was pretty cool. I had nine going into that one. That was my tenth. Uh, my dad had nine, too, uh, as he was a pretty good player in his day, so it's pretty cool. We've, we've both had 19 to combine, father and son, so one of the things I'm proud of. But Patrick and I are going to play this hole. Great par three. It's got water short and right. And um, um, got to hit a really, really good tee shot, good and solid here to, to make a three. So uh, we'll see how we do. Yeah, we're 163 back here, so probably yep, that's less about than what I figured. Yep. Yep. A little All downwind. Right. You want to start us off? I'll start us off on this one. Okay.
Boy, I hit it good. I'm just a little right. That was nice. That hit. was the right club. Yeah, that was a great I hit. I might aim that way just a little. I was trying to aim over there left. And for you with your little normal fade, I would, you see where the yellow stake is there left of the flag? Yep, that's kind of what I'm thinking. That'd be, take a good practice swing for me and brush your grass right. just perfect and then step up and trust it. Uh, take a swing though, that's not a swing. Take your swing, you're gonna swing. Speed wise, there we go, good. There we go, go ahead and hit it, All just right. like that. All you're doing is brushing the grass, same way. Ball just gets in the way. Good shot. There we go. You're putting. We're on. Yeah, you're on. Awesome. Little past the pin, but that's a good shot. Yep. So Ed's in the bunker. Yep. Pretty good. Not too bad, a little long, but pretty Just good. a little long, but not, not too bad. All right, so I got a pretty big breaking Putt here. I got to pretty much go over this fringe, I think, to you get do, it there. You do, probably right in here, and it goes up the hill, yep. then down the hill. Yep. But boy, I'll tell you what, if if you'd almost pretend like the hole's about right here. That's a good spot. That'd be a good spot to think you're going to die it. Does that make sense? Yep. So, okay. so the camera probably doesn't do this justice. Yeah, this that's is really Way slipping. uphill and then way downhill and to the yep. left. So just try to roll it down there at the right speed. You've got about 35 feet, probably. Yep. Oh, not enough. Had the right idea, but needed a little more juice on it. And they're not very fast today after being aerated. Yeah. So just, but I knew that wasn't hard enough practicing. Harder than that. There we go. All right. Good, a little too hard, but that's better than leaving it short. Yep. Yep. Well, yeah, because I have to deal with that slope again. All right. I'm going to go ahead and roll it down there. Got about eight feet left here past the hole. Goes a little bit right. Oh, oh good putt. Another bogey, but, yep. but not bad. Well, it's a beautiful evening, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Pretty straight from there. Yep. One thing, when you blow it by the hole like that, it usually gets on the fall line, so the next one coming back is uphill and straight. So yep. that's still uphill, so give it a pretty good wrap. You'll see that's pretty straight. Do you yeah. see that? Yeah. Good, good putt. putt. I know. All right. Good that was job. Fun. Yeah, it was a blast. Yes. All right. We'll do it again.